A very warm welcome. You're watching the news with me and Abhuti Gaur. Let's take a look at what's making headlines. High drama unfolded in West Bengal on Friday after top BJP leaders, including state party in charge Kailash Vijayvargya and Mukul Roy, were detained by police during a rally in support of the Citizenship Amendment Act in Kolkata. Sources say BJP leaders were taken into custody as they didn't have permission to hold the rally. West Bengal Chief Minister Mamata Banerjee has been opposing the Citizenship Act and has challenged Amit Shah that she won't implement it in West Bengal. Hitting back at Prime Minister Narendra Modi over his tube light dig in the parliament yesterday, Congress leader Rahul Gandhi today said that Prime Minister doesn't behave like a Prime Minister. He said normally a Prime Minister has a particular status, has a particular way of behaving, a particular stature. Our Prime Minister doesn't have these. He does not behave in a Prime Ministerial way. Congress General Secretary Priyanka Gandhi Wadra has questioned the basis on which former Jammu and Kashmir Chief Ministers Omar Abdullah and Mehbooba Mufti were booked under the Public Safety Act and said they deserve to be freed and not incarcerated indefinitely. Taking to Twitter, Priyanka Gandhi said the two Jammu and Kashmir leaders have upheld the constitution and abided by the democratic process and never ascribed to violence and decisiveness. The Delhi court today dismissed the R jail authorities' plea seeking fresh date for execution of the four death row convicts in the Nirbhaya gang rape and murder case. Additional sessions judge took note of the Delhi High Court's February 5th order permitting the convicts to exercise their legal remedies within one week. The court observed that it is criminally sinful to execute the convicts when law permits them to live. The top court adjourned hearings on pleas seeking the removal of protesters at the Shaheen Bagh protest site. Supreme Court said it will take up the petitions on Monday after the Delhi elections as it does not want to influence the polls scheduled for the 8th of February. Prime Minister Narendra Modi addressed a rally in Assam's Kokrajhar today organized to mark the signing of the historic Bodo agreement, Prime Minister began his speech by remembering the Dunder remark against him. He said he is shielded by India's mothers and daughters and no harm can come to him. Grand preparations were made for the PM's rally in which his first in Assam after the anti-CA protest. The outbreak of the deadly coronavirus has forced the Indian women's hockey team to cancel its tour of China, leaving the federation with a difficult task of finding an opponent to compete with as part of its preparations for the Tokyo Olympics. The Indian women's team was scheduled to travel to China from March 14 to 25th. The deadly coronavirus has claimed more than 640 lives so far, with more than 31,000 confirmed cases. That's all in this bulletin. Thanks for watching. The news and updates will continue on the other side.